What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome to my current subscribers and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Just saying. This is um, um, a collective reading, Cups and Sides, and everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. I got a channel message in, clear audiently, so I decided to share it. It's a collective reading, taps through side to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages to resonate. Yes, I am. Okay, yeah. So I got a clear audience message in, so I decided to share it. Um, you guys, that vision of the freaking finger with the ring on it. Oh my goodness. That is so crazy. That is so crazy. Um, crazy grace. But that's at least for one person in the universe. But um, wow, I know I was like, what on the on the video, but holy moly, I mean, just saying. Okay, so like I said, it's a, it's a collective reading. If you'd like to donate, it's high priestess or by the links in the description box below. No cash out, no Venmo, PayPal only. I don't have the live stream on right now, so there's no super chat. Um to donate right now so it's paypal if you do it through paypal it's very private i do not share your name or how much you donate i just want to make that very abundantly clear because i've been getting a lot more private donations in through paypal than i have been public on um, youtube so um, i think a lot of more people are preferring to do it the private way and if i was to donate um or or when i do donate because i have donated to readers before um i always do it privately uh, but everybody you know everybody's different so okay so the channel message i received was um several readers um businesses uh, i heard several readers um not talented fake talented is what i heard that's that's pretty strong just saying not talented fake talented um just saying that's that's pretty strong um the businesses are about to tank down in a huge way but many talented readers businesses are about to go up in very positive huge ways that's what i heard um fake talented um that is what that is what i heard that is what i channeled in i didn't say fake fake talented i'm just saying that is what i heard um you plug it in how it resonates um I'm not calling anybody fake talented. I am not. That is the channels I receive. I just want to make that very abundantly clear for any readers that this might start happening to. And I don't want you to come back and saying, well, High Priestess Intuition said I was fake talented. I am not saying that. That is a channel message I received from the spiritual realm. You have to take what resonates and leave what leave what doesn't. So I just don't want anybody coming back on me all pissy because you're channel um well i didn't hear channel heard your business your channel business maybe not a channel whatever have you some kind of business that you do with some kind of readings is about to um in the spiritual realm in some shape form or fashion is about to tank down i don't want you blaming me for it so i just want to make that very abundantly clear okay um because that was a channel message i received from the spiritual realm that is not what i said that is what i channeled in so can't come back and blame me for it if this starts happening for you because apparently this is gonna hurt it's gonna happen to several readers fake talented just saying just saying so i think whoever that's for they're obviously i heard they're gonna be very mad and i'm sure they will but i apparently i'm channeling this energy in so i don't want you to come back on me get all pissy at me you can't help what you get from the spiritual realm and that's just the truth that's what i got so i make it we're four minutes to 22 minutes uh, 22 seconds in i'm making that very abundantly clear don't get all pissy at me if this starts happening to you okay uh, but i heard however on the positive spectrum we're gonna that no more negative nancy energy we're going positive patsy energy now however for i heard several truly talented i think Fake talented and truly talented is talking about spiritual realm. People that are really receiving spiritual downloads. 
I think maybe people are getting highly intuitive and realizing the ones that really are re receiving true spiritual downloads and ones that are not um, is what I'm presuming from that um, channeling. That's what I'm presuming. I think people are waking up and they are seeing who is truly really channeling in true spiritual downloads from the spiritual realm and who is not. That's what I'm gathering from that channeled message. But it's not, don't come back and blame me if your business goes tanks into the ground. Um, if this happens for somebody that you watch me. Because I'm not the one that controls the world or a spiritual realm. I don't control anything except my, my life. Just saying, just saying. I can't control what I get from the spiritual realm or not. But it sounds like it's going to happen to several people. And obviously, they're going to be very, very mad about it because their money is going to be affected. And who likes their money to be affected? Nobody. Nobody. So, but what I'm saying is I what I'm feeling from that channeling is that other people, because what's going to happen is I think other people are about to get huge. They either got huge wake up calls or they're about to get huge wake up calls on who is really, truly receiving true channelings from the spiritual realm. Now, whether it's um, through voices, I mean, through, um, not through voices, sorry, clairaudiently, clairvoyantly, visions, hearing from spirit, um, dreamscape ability, psychic medium abilities, or even the smell ability, the clairs. Um, who is really receiving them and who's really not, but it's going to be the people that partake on these businesses that's going to make the decision whether to gravitate towards these people or not and whoever this is they've obviously had lots of attention gravitated towards them it sounds like now or in the past or both but they're about not to and it's going to affect their money in a huge way and they're about to be really 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 upset about it don't shoot the messenger just saying just saying um, i just because i know i can just sense that at least one person when this starts happening to they're probably going to come back and try to blame me but it's not my fault that apparently this is what's about to go on in the energetic space. I just really am making that clear. Okay? Because this is, you're talking about affecting people's money. Money and business. And nobody likes their money or their business to be affected. But that is the true nature of the beast. And that's just the way the world we live in. Um, and I'm just a messenger. Just saying. Spirit messages you have to focus. But yeah, what I was saying with that is I think the the um the um consumers of these people's business it's it's they work in the spiritual realm. So I think they obviously have a public platform whether it's on YouTube or another public platform. They have a public platform. They get their readings out there and they really, really, really start, um, they share them. They share them so they can get business revenue in and probably to perform personal readings or, or however they do. Some do personal readings. Some um, do not. Some just do the ad revenue um, if, they do, if they do YouTube. Now, if they do another public platform, I'm sure there possibly might be right at, sorry, can't speak ad revenue on that as well but i have never used another public platform on um for me personally and someone that's been scamming someone's photos on instagram they're about to get sued by instagram in a huge way libra and energy scamming a fire sign Oh my God. Whoa. So you, good Lord. And apparently a uh, Libran has been scamming a fire signs photos on Instagram. I heard, um, but it sounds, I heard Instagram is about to sue, um, the Libran because it's the Libran putting a fire signs photos up on Instagram. And I'm assuming it's a scam. Um, and they are, um, Posting, I'm assuming, a fake profile of this fire sign, but it's not really the fire sign. And just to let everybody know, I don't have an Instagram, so let everybody know. Only public uh, public um, social media I personally have is Facebook, 
It's Mary Johnston Smith. I do not have an Instagram. I do not have any other social media other than Facebook. Mary Johnston Smith, just to let everybody know. I don't have an Instagram or any other social media. But somebody out there is um, scamming a fire sign. Aries Leo Sag. They could have Aries Leo or Sag in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and Midhaven, or Jupiter charts. But I heard they're putting this fire signs pictures on Instagram. And Instagram, anybody doesn't know, Instagram, you can put photos on there and you make money off photos, basically. Off Instagram. If you put your photos, a lot of like uh, Instagram models um, do Instagram because you can make pretty, actually pretty decent money putting photos on Instagram. Um, if people really like your photos, basically. Um, but apparently a Libran has acquired, they have obviously have stolen the fire signs photos because they're not the Libran's photos. They are fire signs photos. Aries Leo Sag. It could be a masculine or femme, um, Aries Leo Sag. But they have stolen this Aries Leo or Sag's photos and they're posting them on Instagram to make money because usually people that post photos on Instagram, they do it to make money if they have a big following. But it sounds like some kind of cashy, catfishy, spammy energy with this Instagram because um, I heard the Libra is about to get sued because somebody's about to, uh, it sounds like Instagram's about to wake up and realize that um, it's not really the fire sign that put them up there and, it, and it's not really the one, the fire sign is not the one that really controls that account. It is the Libra. Um, and I heard that Instagram is about to sue the Libra. They could have, it could be a masculine or femme Libra. They could have Libra in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Femme and Henry Jupiter charts. And one, uh, one very particular FTC report is going to be filed on this as well. Help with an investigation. Oh my God. Okay, so we're pulling Instagram energy in here strong today. Um, I, I don't think I've ever pulled in Instagram energy, but I am today. And I heard one particular FTC report is going to be filed on that. So for anybody who doesn't know, FTC, I'm assuming is that's the Federal Trade Commission. I've been pulling that in, pulling it in, pulling it in the last few days. Federal Trade Commission report. Federal Trade Commission report. Federal Trade Commission report. Holy crap. I heard a um, FTC report. I'm assuming it's a Federal Trade Commission report, but you plug it in how it resonates. I heard it's going to be filed regarding that, and it's um, going to really help with a very large investigation. So you plug it in, how that resonates, if that resonates for you. Um, anybody doesn't know Federal Trade Commission report, basically um, you can report on scams, spams, um, catfishy material, um, uh, identity theft, fraud, theft, um, and then the Secret 7 situation would tie into the um, Federal Trade Commission report as well because that's a legal, a legal business and they handle, they deal with illegal businesses as well. So you plug that in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you, but some kind of Instagram energy, a Libra is apparently catfishing a fire sign. Um, definite spam account. Okay, I heard definite spam account. Okay, so definite spam account on Instagram. So, but it sounds like somebody from Instagram is about to pick up on this or they've already picked up on it and they're about to sue the Libra because they know this fire sign that is the spam account of this fire sign. Um, like they, they know it, know it, know it. And then it might be an employee from Instagram that makes the FTC report possibly, or somebody, or it might be you that makes the FTC report, Federal Trade Commission report, I'm presuming, on this Libra, if you know about this. Maybe you go on this spammy catfishy um, Instagram account possibly and view these pictures. Um, and maybe you're the one that's going to make the Federal Trade Commission report. Um, but I heard Instagram. Instagram's about to sue the Libra. Um, so if you know of this spammy, catfishy account of this fire sign, and you know this fire sign has not made this account and this Libra has, if I was you, I, I would either follow the FTC report or I would stay away from the account. Because you, um, not, I'm sorry, not YouTube. Instagram is either on this Libra or they're about to be on this Libra. And I'm just being serious about that. So you plug it in, how that resonates. But obviously, they're making money off the, the obviously the spam, spammy uh, fire signs account, which is controlled by the Libra. Um, and I'm sure the Libra has not told the fire sign that they're making tons of money off them. Of them, I'm sure they aren't. But it's obviously very popular. 
So a lot of people are viewing these pictures for, uh, for some shape, form. Re they're viewing them for a reason is what I'm saying. So maybe one of you, and I'm pulling this in for a reason. So I think one of you guys is viewing the pictures or maybe one of you guys works at Instagram. However that resonates. Or maybe you might be the Libra. Catfishy, spammy, catfishy Libra, possibly. You plug it in how it resonates. That's that's big. That's big. You plug it in how it resonates. The Emperor Reverse, King of Cups Upright. A Virgo is about to make huge moves towards a Leo. An Aquarius is not going to like this, but they know there's nothing they can do about it. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. An Aquarius and a Gemini. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Wow. So we have, um, I heard a Virgo is about to make huge moves towards a Leo. Um, an Aquarius and a Gemini is not going to like it, but they know there's nothing they can do about it. So you plug it in how it resonates. It's not going to go the way the Virgo thinks it's going to go. They really need to use their head and not their penis. Oh my God. So you plug it in how it resonates. Whoa. Okay. I heard they really, um, this Virgo wants to move towards Leo and I think it's sexually, um, or they might want to move in romantically and then think they're going to get some. Um, but I heard they need to use their head and not the penis. So they've either been sexually connected to the Leo in the past, or they want to be se sexually connected to the Leo. But I heard, um, they're about to basically move in on the Leo. So I don't know if it's, 3D face to face. I don't know if it's um, verbal, uh, you know, like text or message or what have you. Um, but I heard an Aquarius and a Gemini is not going to like it, but they know this. Not, there's nothing they can do about the Virgo basically moving in on the Leo fam. Uh, but I heard it's not going to go the way the uh, Virgo thinks it's going to go. The Virgo needs to use their head. So I think it's not going to go the way the Virgo thinks when they connect with this, with this Leo fam that they need to use their head. Um, mature energy here. Okay, I heard mature energy here. That's all I heard. Mature energy here. I was waiting to see if I just heard something else. Mature energy here. So, I think the Leo fam has probably grown up a lot or they're very mature. And maybe the Leo fam has allowed the Virgo uh, it's a Virgo masculine because I heard penis, just saying, or somebody has penis and vagina parts. But um, I heard the Virgo, I think maybe the Leo Femme has maybe gave in to the Virgo in the past, but it sounds like they're not going to this time with what they want, which is sex. Um, I think for a lot of these, you could be the Leo Femme or you could be the Virgo masculine. However, you plug in how it resonates. But I do think they have been sexually connected in the past. Whoever these people are, they've been sexually connected in the past. But I think the Leo Femme is not going to give the Virgo what they want this time, which is sex, obviously. It's like a night energy. They're pulling up as King of Cups, um, the Virgo is. And this is the Aquarius and Gemini energy that basically have no control of the situation. They're not going to like it. But the Virgo is pulling up in this, re, um, in this particular spread as King of Cups upright. So king energy, mature energy, lots of giving, loving, and kind towards the Leo. But I heard it's not going to go the way he thinks it's going to go. He needs to use his head, not his penis. So I think they, some of these Leo and Virgos, Leo femme and Virgo masculines, has been sexually connected in the past. I do. Um, and I think maybe she has given to him in the past, and she knew he wanted sex. She knew he wanted sex, and... She let him have the sex, but she's not going to let him have it this time. That's what I think. But you plug it in how it resonates, if that resonates for you. We're pulling in a, like a mishmash of stuff up in here. Um, a big mishmash. So you plug it in how that resonates, if that resonates for you. Spare messages you have collected.
temperance reverse the hang woman upright a shocking series many 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 shocking series of tame events is going to occur between the virgo and the leo many need to do this right on both ends Okay, I heard basically a ton of many shocking series of chain events that's going to occur between the Virgo, Virgo and the Leo. Need to do it right uh, on both ends. So um, maybe the Virgo's having a wake-up call or the Leo's having a wake-up call if you are the Virgo or the Leo um, and you realize you need to do it right on both ends. I heard mature energy. Um, I heard it, he was basically wanting to use his penis. So I think the Leo fam, if you're the Leo fam, I think you're mature or you have matured. Um, and maybe he's about to have the wake-up call, wanting to use his penis just to go in and put some in or whatever. Um, but um, however that resonates. But it sounds like one of you guys is about to have a huge wake-up call. I think the Leo Femme's the mature one in this situation. The Virgo masculine is putting it in energy. Uh, that's what I feel. But, um, but you know, energies can be reversed. So you have to plug yourself in where you fit. But however that resonates. It sounds like at least one of these people, if not both, are going to have huge wake-up call soon and realize it needs to be done the right way. So you plug it in how it resonates. Tempers reverse the hang woman upright. A particular Libra is about to be in the middle of many lawsuits. Many. And a huge investigation soon that's going to lead them to prison. They made lots and lots and lots of money the last couple years off a family member, but at the end of it, they're going to end up spending more in legal fees than they made. and end up in prison oh my god you plug it in. oh my god you plug it in how it resonates holy crap you plug it in how it resonates wow so libra and energy strong in here they could have libra in their sun moon rising venus or thumb and or jupiter masculine or fin libra but i heard this libra is basically a fraud they're a fraud they're a scam scam person they're a con artist and basically i heard they've made Lots, basically a ton of money off a family member, a family member for years, I heard, for years. But soon, it sounds like they're about to end up in prison over a huge investigation. It could be an FTC investigation or not. Um, I didn't hear what kind of investigation. I'm assuming it might be an FTC investigation because we've had so many FTC reports in here and coming in recently. But you plug it in how it resonates. But however that resonates, it is they made a ton of money, I heard, off a family member for years. But I'm assuming they obviously have not told the family member they have made this ton of money off of them. But I heard they're basically going to end up spending, they made a ton of money off the family member the last couple, um, couple to a few years. You plug it in how it resonates. But they're going to end up spending more money on legal fees than they made, which was a lot of money by the end of it and they're going to end up in prison so to me this sounds like they're negative karma because even though they made a ton of money off this family member it sounds like um and it might be the libra that's about to get sued by instagram possibly for some of these libras um but however that resonates they're going to end up spending more money by the end of it in all these legal fees than they actually made and which was a hell of a lot of money off the family members. So to me, it sounds like it's negative karma cycling around because um, of scams and fraud and catfish energy. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. I heard they're about to end up in prison. I think it's from this huge investigation that's going on and a particular Libra is about to be in the middle of many lawsuits. And there's a Libra about to be in the middle of a lawsuit from Instagram. So, I mean, you, it, that could resonate with the same Libra or it could resonate with different Libras. You have to plug yourself in where you fit if you do. If it's not you, it could be another Libra you're connected to in some shape, form, or fashion or somebody you know or somebody else. Because um, we have Virgo and Leo energy in here as well. You have to plug yourself in where you fit if you do fit. 
But um, in this situation, this Libra is going to be very imbalanced. I guess once they learn of all these lawsuits, the Instagram lawsuit, the many other lawsuits, maybe same Libra, maybe a different Libra, and prison energy for one particular Libra, they're about to get enlightened of it. Enlightenment energy, hang woman upright. And they're going to be very, very, very imbalanced once they find out they go to prison or they're in the middle of all these lawsuits or Instagram's about to sue them. How that resonates? Wow. Holy crap. My God. We'll do one more. Spirit messages you have for the collective. The star upright, ten of cups upright. A particular Pisces with Pisces in their chart is about to really get garner support in their community and family to file an FT, a very important Federal Trade Commission report regarding Secret 7 situation. They know it's going to help immensely and they are right. It really, really is. Paying it forward. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Wow, that well, that's beautiful energy. Whoever that's for, um, that's beautiful energy. Um, I just, wow. So you plug it in how it resonates. So Piscean energy in here, I heard with Pisces in their chart. So it could be, you know, Pisces that um, has this in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North Moon, and Hebrew Jupiter chart. But I heard paying it forward energy. So this Piscean, um, if this is you or somebody you're connected to, uh, you have to plug it in wherever it resonates. Um, Piscean and Leo in their chart. Okay, I heard Piscean and Leo in their chart just now. Okay, so whoever the, whoever you are, if this is for you or somebody you're connected to, they have Pisces and Leo in their chart. So they have Pisces and Leo either in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, north, north node, midhaven, or Jupiter charts. You know your chart. You know what signs plug into your chart and what signs don't. You only, I would hope only you know your chart and not anybody else. So if you, if this, you feel this message resonates with you, you know, you can always look up your birth chart. Um, and, and I'm not your, yeah, well, not your birth chart, your chart, your chart, but you have to have your birth information and things like that is what I'm saying. Um, like time of birth and day of birth and, you know. Just look it up. Look up how to um, find your chart, your chart Pisces, basically, and it, it'll tell you on Google. But whoever this is, they have Pisces and Leo in their chart. But whoever this is, I think you know your birth chart. I think you know your birth chart. I think you know it. And um, you have Pisces and Leo in your chart. You um, you could have Pisces or Leo in your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Midnight, or Jupiter. If this resonates with you. But I heard whoever this is for, a specific person here with Pisces and Leo in their chart, I heard basically you're about to garner up a lot of support in your community and your family. Um, and um, file you, it sounds like you're going to file a Federal Trade Commission report and you're going to garner up lots of support in your community and your family to file a Federal Trade Commission report um, on the Secret 7 situation. And I heard it's going to help immensely. It's going to help immensely um, and create many, 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 many series of shame events. Very, very, very helpful. Know this. Oh my gosh, I'm pulling you in strong, Pisces Leo. Just saying. So whoever you are, you're gonna you you want to report on the Secret Seven situation, basically, and you're about to. It sounds like you want to, and you're about to. But you're going to garner up, not only are you going to report, but you're going to get support of your family. You're going to tell your family about it and your community. And it sounds like they're going to be all in on it to, to do it. Um, every, it sounds like you're going to garner up support to get everybody to individually file a Federal Trade Commission report, which really helps because I was reading on the website and the more people that file on a certain situation or scammer or spammer or situation, i.e. Secret 7 situation, or what, or identity theft, or 
what have you, the more people that file on a specific situation, more likely, it's like they run it up an emergent list and um, more likely it is to be investigated. So, um, so you plug it in how it resonates, um, but the, you're smart, whoever you are, and it sounds like you know this or you're researching this or somebody told you this or you're about to learn it, how that resonates, and you're about to garner up support of your community and your family and it sounds like gather everybody to file Federal Trade Commission reports on the Secret 7 situation, and I heard it's going to help immensely. So you go with your bad self. That's true power of the people energy. Um, and I heard it's paying it forward energy. So you're paying it forward to somebody um, in the Secret 7 situation in some shape, form, or fashion. I feel it might be single mom Leo, possibly. Um, all I heard was paying it forward energy. My deductive logic and intuition and reasoning is you're probably paying it forward to single mom Leo in some shape, form, or fashion. But it possibly could be somebody else. You plug it in, how it resonates, if that resonates for you with Pisces and Leo in your chart. Masculine or femme, Pisces and Leo. You could have Pisces or Leo in your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Men, Haver, Jupiter. The star upright, Ten of Cups upright. A Leo feminine is about to receive a gift at her home. Some Leo feminines, it will be two plus gifts. Some it will be unmarked. Some it will not. Oh my God. So you plug it in how it resonates. Leo fem energy strong in here. Um, so this is at least for two Leo Fems in the universe. I'll tell you this. So this could be for you if you're a Leo Fem or somebody you're connected to or another Leo or what have you, if it's not you. Um, but it's a Leo feminine. They could have Leo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, Ortho, Mid, Hammer, Jupiter. It sounds like one Leo Fem is about to receive a gift at their door. I mean, not their door, at their home in some shape, form, or fashion. So I'm thinking like FedEx or you, um, UPS or the post office, postal service, or something of that nature. Um, or it could be somebody just dropping it off in their mailbox or, or by their door or what have you. But some kind of gift energy at their home. It sounds like somebody's going to drop it off or it will be delivered by something like FedEx or UPS or um, the postal service or something of that, uh, that nature. But one Leo fam, it sounds like it's one gift for... Another Leo Femme, it sounds like it's two plus. And then one specific Leo Femme, it sounds like it's going to be an unmarked gift or package or something in some shape, form, or fashion. And then some Leo Femmes, it will be marked. So you will know who sent it to you. Um, you will have the information on who sent it to you. It sounds like one of you guys will not have the information on who sent it to you. So just um, let me see if I hear anything else. I hope this is um, like legit and somebody's not trying to deliver you anthrax or a damn bomb or something. The unmarked package will be safe from someone in your past. Oh, okay. I heard the unmarked package will be safe. Um, someone in your past. So whoever that's for, Leo Fem, it's I heard the unmarked package will be safe. It's someone from your past. Thank God, because I was like, my God, I don't want to say this on here and then somebody get freaking anthrax in the mail or a bomb, and then I, I don't want to get blamed for that. Um discretion advised. Just saying, just saying. It, this is for entertainment purposes only. You can listen or not listen. Just saying. Oh, my goodness. Um, but I heard from Spirit that um, it is safe. So, you, you know, you take it how it resonates. You don't have to listen to these spiritual messages if you don't want to, okay? Um, but I heard it's from someone in your past. So, you plug it in how it resonates. So, and that Leo Fem gift energy strong. So, success um, with the gift energy. For some, it's one. For some, it's two plus. For some, it's an unmarked package. For some, it's not. Success. Um, 
success here. This is success, public eye energy. For some, you could be in the public eye. For some, it could just be success of the package being or packages being delivered to your home. Um, for some, I heard it's um, someone from your past. I think it's the unmarked part package that's uh, safe and someone from your past. So success has been delivered to your home, possibly, when they find out it's been delivered to your home or you receive it or what have you. And then 10 of cups upright, happiness. Um, this is family happiness. So maybe it's going to bring you family happiness, this unmarked package. Um, or the mark package is going to bring you family happiness in some shape, form, or fashion is what I'm feeling for some of you guys. Um, in some shape, form, or fashion, I didn't hear specifically what these gifts were. I didn't hear. But I think whatever is in this, whether it's one or two plus, however this resonates in your life, it's going to bring you some kind of family happiness. So for some, it might be a housewarming gift. For some, it might be money. For some, it might be a gift card. For some, it might be... Um, it might be uh, important communication that can be life-changing to you uh, in some shape, form, or fashion, but it's going to bring you family happiness in some shape, form, or fashion, I'm feeling. Uh, for some, I feel it could be a housewarming gift, possibly. I didn't hear that, but I am I am feeling housewarming energy. I just feel guided to say that. I didn't hear that clear audibly, but I do feel housewarming energy. I feel like a housewarming gift. I. I don't, I'm not hearing that from spirit. That's just my deductive, intuitive logic and reasoning. I am feeling housewarming gift energy for at least one of you Leo fans out in the universe. And I'm serious. I do. I just felt guided to say that because I feel it might be a housewarming gift. For some, you can be dealing with an Aquarius. If you are, they have Aquarius in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or the Manhattan or Jupiter charts. You plug it in how it resonates. For one particular Leo fam, it's very important information regarding a, a, you were supposed to move into a very nice, very, very, very nice home, but someone, a fraud moved into it. You're about to receive communication on this. It's going to be very, very, very useful for you. Legal action. Oh, okay. Wow. Well, that was specific. Okay. So um, if this resonates for you, uh, one of these communications, heavy Leo Femme energy receiving communication at their home, um, whether it's a gift or communication or what have you. So I feel this might be male energy. It might be, well, one is a package, unmarked package for somebody out there. For somebody, it's a, I feel it's a package that's marked. And for somebody, I feel it's mail, like some kind of letter energy. But however that resonates, at least for one of you guys, I heard you were supposed to move into a very, very nice, like lux luxurious type home in the past. But a fraud moved into it. A fraud moved into it and you're about to receive it sounds like some kind of male communication from someone telling you basically what happened. And it sounds like this letter or this communication, whether it's from a um, governmental source or from a personal source, um, is going to be very useful into uh, basically um, getting, getting you what you should have deserved all along. I heard lawsuit energy. So I think you might use this communication to file a lawsuit on the fraud that moved into the home that you were supposed to move into is what I what I'm feeling. Once you receive this, series of chain events will occur and this person will be evicted. And many other series of chain events will occur. Jail. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay, I heard once you receive this, um, so this communication, I feel it's mail communication, if this resonates with you, Leo fam. Um, once you receive this mail communication, and whether it's from somebody on a personal level or professional level, I didn't hear that. So I don't know if it's like governmental entity agency energy about to send you this, like strict confidential type S energy, or if it's on a personal level, however that resonates, but somebody is about to send you this. It's about to, they're about to notify you. 
whether professionally or personally or what have you. But I heard basically once you receive this, once you receive this, it's going to lead to series of chain events. You will get what you want. Uh, you will get what you should have had all along, which was this nice, very nice, luxurious type home that was supposed to be yours. And the person will be evicted and they will go to jail. But it sounds like it's going to take series of chain events to get it there. But it sounds like you receiving this letter in the mail first is the first um, step in this, first step in the process. So to me, with that message, success, once you receive this mail, some kind of mailing, I'm feeling. Um, and then it will leave your happy, your family happy that y'all can move into a very nice, the very nice home you were supposed to move into all along is what it sounds like. Um, that's what I'm feeling. That's what I'm feeling. Um, so success that you are about to receive this communication and I feel whoever this is for, I feel you have children because this is happy family card. Um, so I feel you have child or children. And, um, but a fraud I heard is living in a very nice, luxurious home that you're supposed to be living in. So, um, you could be dealing with Aquarius or not. If you are, they could have Aquarius in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or sun, moon, energy, Jupiter chart. You plug it in how it resonates. Okay. I feel guided to get one of these and then, um, then I'll close it. Actually, no, I feel got to get one of these. This person is going to be pissed. Pissed. Okay, I heard this person is going to be pissed, pissed. So I guess the person that is living in your nice, luxurious home there, um, Fem Leo, um, they're going to be pissed because basically they're a huge fraud. and they But they know they are. They know they are. And they're going to be pissed that basically they're going to be evicted. But they shouldn't have, um, for some, I feel they could be claiming they're you, is what I'm feeling. But somebody has picked up on the fact that they're not you. And so now the energy is going to shift, is what I'm feeling. Spirit messages you have for the person. A particular Leo. Feminine will really, really, really thank an Aquarius after these series of chain of events occur. Very much. Okay. Wow. I heard a particular Leo fan will really, really thank an Aquarius after these series of chain of events occur. So, um, I think it's the Leo fan that's about to get the communication in the mail that basically her nice, luxurious home that she was supposed to have was stolen from her by fraud. Um... Whoever this Aquarius is, is in her life. Um, but she, um, this Aquarius and this Leo femme are obviously on good terms in some shape, form, or fashion. And um, I heard the Leo femme will really, really thank the Aquarius after um, it sounds like she gets this meta, uh, male communication um, informing her. Uh, somehow this Aquarius has something to do with it. So I don't, um, I don't know if they're the one actually sending this mail communication to her or if they're spurring series of chain of events to get it sent to her. However, that resonates. Um, Aquari but positive Aquarius energy in this Leo Fem's life. So you plug it in how it resonates. And it will spur other series of chain of events. This Leo really thinks highly of this Aquarius and this Aquarius really thinks highly of this Leo. Okay, wow. Very positive Aquarius and Leo energy in here, I'll tell you that. So I heard it's going to um, spur other series of chain events. So once this Leo fam, if this is you, receives this letter mailing in the mail communication, um, it's going to, the Leo fam is going to thank the Aquarius. So you could be the Aquarius or the Leo fam. You plug it in, how it resonates. The Leo fam is going to thank the Aquarius. But I heard the Aquarius really thinks very highly of the Leo Femme, and the Leo Femme thinks very highly of the Aquarius, and it's going to spur several series of chain of events after this. So it sounds like the Leo Femme is going to reach out to the Aquarius and thank the Aquarius, and then it's going to spur positive series of chain of events between those two. But those these two mutually respect and like each other, I'll tell you that. Um, whoever these two people are in the universe, this Leo Femme and this Aquarius really like and respect each other. So. 
privileged lady, unexpected income. And, um, I mean, you just, you can't make this crap up even if you wanted to. And, um, we've had, a there's a lot of spammy, scammy, um, there's lawsuit energy in here. There's spammy, scammy, fraudulent activity on Instagram. Instagram's about to sue a Libra. A Libra's about to get a lot of lawsuits. There's a Libra going to prison. There's a, somebody that's living in somebody's house. They're not supposed to be living in a very nice, luxurious house, apparently. Um, and that person's going to get evicted and other series of shame events are going to occur and they're going to end up in jail. We've got a Leo femme about to receive either one gift or two plus gifts, a Virgo and a Leo about to sounds like reconnect from the past. Um, we've got a lot going on in here. We've got a lot going on in here and an Aquarius and Leo energy, very positive Aquarian and Leo energy, lots of respect and, um, positive energy there. Um, so, but my point is, is when I fl flip over the privileged lady upright and the unexpected income upright, it's like the wrongs are being righted in the universe now. Because y'all know that we, we're in the, we're in the age of Aquarius, I mean, sorry, the age of Pisces for forever. So secrets and doing things behind backs and um, just secret shysty energy for forever. But we moved into the age of Aquarius about a month or month and a half ago. Um, we are in the age of Aquarius now, baby. I mean, we're out of the secrets. We're out of the lies. We're out of the shicey behavior. Um, and we will be in age, age of Aquarius for a hot minute. Thank God. Um, but what I'm trying to say with that is you can tell in the universal spaces from what I've been picking up, since we've shifted into the age of Aquarius, now things are starting to balance out in the universe. Um, the lawsuit energy is coming for assholes that deserve it. Oh, we also have Federal Trade Commission reporting energy in here too. Federal Trade Commission reporting. Some's already occurred. Some more is about to occur. But my point is, that's Age of Aquarius energy balancing out the universe from the freaking Age of Piscean energy of secrets and betrayals and doing things behind people's backs and all kinds of crazy crap. Uh-uh. No, no, no. Sorry. I thought he cut it off. Um, if that makes sense, that's exactly the, but cause I can, I, I can, I've been picking it up clear audiently and, um, and the whole friggin' dismembered finger with the friggin' wet, um, I don't know if it was a wedding ring or I don't know if it was a, some kind of band, some kind of ring energy on a finger. Just saying, just saying, I mean, it's picking up is what I'm saying. The secrets are being revealed, whether people want them to be revealed or not. They're being revealed by the people with abilities able to bring them out into the universe, basically. Whether people want them to be displayed publicly out in the universe or not is what I'm trying to say. Um, you know, because people keep secrets all the time. But with people with abilities, I know it's all in what the spiritual realm wants to give the readers. You know, I mean... Just because you're gifted doesn't mean you're going to pick up things all the time. It's what the spiritual realm wants to give you. You know, I just want to make that clear. Um, just because you're talented and gifted and you have the players doesn't mean you're going to pick up every damn thing in the universe because it's, you know, you're only one person with gifts. It's what the spiritual realm wants to give you, if, if that makes sense for somebody. But my point is, it's starting to be balanced out. You've got a Leo fan that's supposed to um, have a very nice home. I heard a very nice, luxurious home, but they've got a fraud living in it. I think that's where the privileged lady and the unexpected income is about to come in, possibly. Um, was where I was going with that. My long-winded self. Number 12 or 27 could be very significant numbers in your life in some shape, form, or fashion. 12 or 27. This could be possible ages of a child or somebody you're connected to or age of you, um, possibly 12 or 27. Um, also, it could be a possible jersey number, possible a, uh, well, we went over age or date of birth or green card number or social security number um, or jersey number, 12 or 27. Also, 12 or 27 could be reoccurring, significant reoccurring numbers you're seeing out in the universe in some shape, form, or fashion. Privileged lady.
There are many, 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 for the true privileged lady. Money is going to have to be returned. Properties are going to have to be returned. If they can do it, that right now people are trying to do it behind the scenes. If these people do not comply, there will be lawsuit energy. Okay, so wow, so you plug it in how it resonates. So basically through, I'm not even gonna to try to attempt to count how many minis I just heard. A ton of mini series of chain of events, a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton. Um, there's supposed to be somebody in the universe that's supposed to be a privileged lady. I think she's supposed to, um, she's supposed to be, I, I feel a millionaire. I didn't hear a millionaire, but probably, um, probably a good millionaire. Probably not like 1 million, probably like freaking 10, 10 million, maybe. I didn't hear how much, but definitely a privileged lady energy for sure. Um, but other people have her money, basically. Other people have her money. And, um... Basically, I heard through a ton of mini series of chain of events, it's about to um, it's about to be balanced out. Now, I heard people are working on in behind the scenes now, or they're about to be working behind the scenes now to I heard to get the money, the property, and the um, the money and the property back that was stolen from this um, privileged lady. But I heard if they do not comply, lawsuit energy will come. So people are trying to work to get the, the money and the property back now that was stolen from her. But if it doesn't work, then basically there will be lawsuit energy. So privileged lady, I think this is balance coming back, uh, coming in to start and be restored to get her money back. Monies and properties and all, I mean, you're talking probably millions of dollars worth of um, real estate or um, money however that resonates or both um i feel for some this this privileged lady her toxic family has it and probably members of her community possibly you plug it in however that resonates but they have basically just they stole it all from her so they could all take it and split it basically is what i'm gathering from this an aquarius is having a huge wake up call huge okay i heard an aquarius is having a huge wake up call huge so, um, I'm pulling in strong Aquarius energy. Um, so at least one of you Aquarians is having a huge wake up call, maybe about, um, what I said with that or something else in here, you plug it in however that resonates, but you're having a huge wake up call about something, but I do, that is what I, exactly what I feel. And I think this could be secret seven situation. I strongly feel this is secret seven situation. I do. I do. There's a reason that poor single mom got fired three times in a year. And she's an RN. She's an RN. Just saying. I mean, she, you know, you're not talking about a cashier job at McDonald's. You're talking about a career path job. Three times in a year, that poor woman got fired. Wrongful terminations. Her family knew she didn't have money to sue. Her family knew it. Her community knew it. They, I feel they took advantage of her. Absolutely. So we have privileged lady upright. Balance is about to be restored. Either they're going to give it back or there will be lawsuits to get it back is what I'm feeling. So um, you plug it in how it resonates. Unexpected income upright. Someone really, really underestimated a Leo feminine, but they are not anymore. This Leo feminine is not messing around. Many are realizing this now. And they should have never under, underestimated her to begin with. 
they were lied to. This is going to create many, 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 so I heard somebody really under, underestimated a Leo feminine past, basically. They underestimated her, but I heard they should have never underestimated her because there was no reason given to underestimate her. That basically people were lied to to underestimate her. But people realize now she's very serious. She's very serious and they shouldn't underestimate her. And I heard from Spirit, they're right, they shouldn't. So basically a ton of mini series of chain events is going to occur. So we have unexpected income. So I think this might be the energy of these people willingly, free willingly giving up what they sold to, um, I think, a Leo, a Leo femme, which in this situation, the Leo femme is a privileged lady. Or if you're any other sign and this resonates with you, you take it. You don't have to be a Leo femme. Uh, if you're any other sign and this specific message resonates with you, you take it, okay? But um, I did hear Leo femme in here. So at least one Leo femme in the universe, I feel it's single mom Leo with secret seven um, is the one I'm specifically pulling in. But if you're any other sign and this resonates with you, masculine or femme, you plug it in how it resonates. Okay. I just want to make that clear, but I am pulling in Leo femme energy. So um, there's at least one Leo femme in the universe that was stole from in a huge way, basically. And people underestimated her and they just took, took, took from her. But I think this energy is them. Basically I heard either they give it up or there will be lawsuits. So I think this is unexpected income, them giving up what they stole from her, which is going to bring balance back into the universe and make her the privileged lady after everybody and their mama that stole crap from her gives it back and balance can be restored in the universe and makes her the privileged lady. So it's like, this is how I equate it. Like everybody took a piece. And then once it comes back, it will make her the privileged lady. That's what I'm taking from this. So you plug it in how it resonates. Let me see if I hear anything else. Okay, I didn't. I didn't. All right, you guys. Well, I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices and namaste. If you liked, um, if you think anyone else could benefit from these messages, please share these videos on your social media and word of mouth. I very much appreciate it. Love you guys. Namaste.